Welcome back to the News at Noon. This is a live look right now at our Day of Dreams Telethon. We are raising money for the Mercy House Ministries MAP Center. This is special to us, close to our hearts, because that MAP Center is located in the former WSFA 12 News building, the building we called home for about 65 years before we moved the TV station over to Dexter Avenue. We hope you will join us in helping that ministry continue to transform the community with the lives that it is serving. You can call the number on your screen or you can scan the QR code to donate. Right now, let's head over to WSFA 12 News anchor Judd Davis, who's live at the original Mercy House where the ministry got its start. Just tell us about the needs that are there. Uh, Bethy, just down the road from our old stomping grounds at 12 East Delo, the Mercy House is a pretty special place. This is lunchtime, so it's a very busy place. They are preparing more than 250 meals. Some of those meals went out via DoorDash. Others are served right outside the front door here. It really does take a village to make this place work. And Jim Byard, I always call him Mayor Byard because you were Mayor Prattville for 12 years. But I, I still answer to Mayor every once in a while. Always good to see your face, <laughs> Jim, you, Jim. <laughs> not Mayor Byard anymore. Good, good to have you here. Jim. So Mr. Austin over there, he's over there and he's uh, monitoring numbers. This guy's a magician as far as being able to get people to join in. How did he pull you in? Well, I got a call and said, hey, do you know about Mercy House? Do you know about MAP, the MAP Center? And I did not. And so uh, he said, hey, you got to come see us. And it's all about relationships and it's about getting the right people to the table. And that's what he's a master. Uh, Ken, Ken Austin, he's a master. He is. He is. So now that you're involved, how are you involved? What are you doing to help this place work? Well, I hope that I am able to bring some folks that can support, just like this telethon today, if you call it a telethon, this, this day of giving. It's about, it, it takes a village, it truly takes a village, so it takes a lot of folks to make not only the MAP Center, but the Mercy House work. And you mentioned the meals, you know, they let folks take showers here. It, it is a, a true ministry, and it's about helping people, um, you know, the, that's all it's about. And so any resource I can have, and I can bring some friends in and folks that might be able to assist, that's what I'm here to do. You mentioned you had to come see it. And once you see it, and once you see how it works, and once you see the people, it kind of sucks you in, doesn't it? It absolutely does because it's a, it's a, it's a love ministry, and it's a, it's a be curious, not judgmental ministry. Curious is why you're here, not judging why you're here. Curious why you're here. How can we help you? How can we get you from here to another place, another station in life? And it's all ages and, uh, you know, all genders. And truly, it's a, it's, a, it's a ministry for the River Region. While based here in, in western and central Montgomery, uh, you know, if Montgomery's not doing well, the entire River Region's not doing well. And so it's, it's vital that, uh, that ministries like this exist, and it's vital that we uh, assist these ministries. And today, the way you can assist is you can uh, go online, you can write a check, you can text. However you give, you have an opportunity to give. And that's what today's about, is making sure that people in our area know they have an opportunity opportunity to assist. Once you got in and saw how this place worked, were you surprised at just kind of how what a well-oiled machine this place is? It is a well-oiled machine. The first time I was in this building, I tried to get back there and, and help with the kitchen, and they <laughs> they quickly said, yeah. you have no skills here. You need to get away from this uh, this kitchen area. So uh, these folks do a tremendous, tremendous amount of work, a tremendous ministry, you know, feeding people six days a week. Truly, things I don't think about. Someone who needs a shower and they have the opportunity to come here and, and, and clean up for their daily life. Um, you know, that's what we're here to do in the grand scheme of life. That's what we're supposed to do. So I enjoy yeah. I enjoy helping helping uh, Mercy House and Matt. Might not be the cook, but you bring a different set of skills to the Absolutely. group, Jim. Thank you so much Thanks, for joining Jeff. us. We Good appreciate you. your Good to see you as well, always. And Bethany, like we said, this is always a very busy place. It's heartwarming to see the folks who are putting together the meals, bagging them up, and also the folks on the receiving end who get that hot meal and get a chance to go out and enjoy a pretty good meal on a beautiful Thursday afternoon here in Montgomery. Yeah, you and I have talked about just how proud we are to be a part partner with that ministry as a member of the WSFA 12 News Team. We want you to partner with us. Donating is so easy to do. You can call the number that's on your screen. That's 613-8283. You can use your smartphone's camera to scan the QR code there. You can also text the word GIVE to 206-886. And you can find all of this information on the homepage, WSFA.com and the 12 News app.